Okay, here's a question from May 2013. It's question three. It's all about speed, time and distance. And it's called uh, Mikkel's running trip. It says uh, Mikkel runs uh, several times a week. On his running trip, he takes a mobile phone with a program that can measure how far he runs and, um, and how much time he spends running. After each running trip, um, Mikkel gets the measurements shown on a curve. And then there's an example of such a curve here. The curve below shows the mobile telephone's measurements after one of Mikkel's running trips. Read from the curve um, how much time Mikkel was running for and how long he ran. So it's um, all the way up to the end of the curve where he stops running and that's five kilometers and it's 24 minutes. Next question. What was Mikkel's uh, average speed in kilometers, in kilometers per hour on the first kilometer of the running trip? Okay, so look at the curve again. And the first kilometer, there it is, one kilometer took him five minutes. So on our rough paper, we're saying one kilometer in five minutes, a fifth of a kilometer or 0.2 of a kilometer in one minute, and once you've worked out how much in one minute, you can work out how much in one hour, 60 times as much. So it's 12 kilometers in one hour. And you worked out 12 kilometers from one times 60 divided by five effectively. So 12 kilometers per hour. Next part, on another day, Mikkel runs five kilometers in 25 minutes. Um, on the way, he had to stop two times for a red light, and he ran fastest on the last kilometer of the run. Draw a curve that shows how the mobile telephone's measurements could have looked after this running trip. Um, so there's lots of ways you could have answered this, um, but here's an example. So you've got him running for a bit, and then it's flat where he had to stop, running for a bit again, then it's flat where he had to stop, and then he's running again, and then the last kilometer, so from four to five here, is the steepest part of the graph because that's where he's running the fastest. So it's steeper than any of these other parts where he's running. So to get the full marks for this, um, you need three basic things, apart from everything being in the right place and it um, ending at 25 minutes and five kilometers. You need the two flat sections and you need the last kilometer from four kilometers to five kilometers to be steeper than any other section of the graph. As long as you've got those features, then you're getting the mark for that. Question 3.4, draw a curve that shows how the um, mobile telephone's measurements would see if Mikkel had run five kilometers at a constant speed, speed of 15 kilometers per hour. Okay, so I'm looking at my graph now and I'm going to my rough paper and I'm saying, okay, 15 kilometers per hour, that's 15 kilometers in one hour. If he did 15 kilometers in one hour, then he would be doing five kilometers in 20 minutes. I've just divided everything by three there. So at that speed where he's going 15 kilometers per hour, five kilometers would take him 20 minutes. Um, and we're talking about him running five kilometers. So we need the graph to show five kilometers in 20 minutes. And there it is. Three point five um, suggest a formula for the the function that describes the linear relationship. Well, you should have done a lot of work now on straight lines and their graphs. So straight line graphs usually have an equation like y equals something x plus something 
and it's all to do with how steep the curve is and where it cuts. Now let's have a look at how steep the curve is. Well, first of all it cuts at zero but looking at how steep the curve is now it's going 0.25 up for every one across. Now it's hard to try and read a single unit on this but if you think about the fact that it's going 5 up for 20 across then it's going 2.5 up for every 10 across and you can figure out that it's going 0.25 up for every one across. So you're not trying to read a little section of the graph where it's just going across by one and you've got to figure out how much it's going up. Think about the bigger graph and figure it out from that. So because it's gone 5 up for 20 across, I can figure out that it's going 0.25 up for every one across. And as I said, it cuts at zero. So the equation of the graph is going to be y equals 0.25 times x, where x is the time in minutes and y is the length in kilometers. So 0.25 for x for the gradient, the number in front of x is always the gradient, the steepness, and then nothing on the end, so in other words plus zero on the end because it cuts at zero. Now really you should say what x and y are here because uh, there's no x and y in the question, you just introduced them. So you ought to be either saying what x and y are, x is the time in minutes, or and y is the length in kilometers, or you can just write your equation in terms of those things. So you can say length in kilometers equals 0.25 times time in minutes. So there's my um, answer sheet. Everything neatly lined up. Now I'm, I'm a bit concerned about here where I've just written y equals 0.25x without saying what they are. I might lose a mark for that. And here's the marks you could get for that, and it's four marks for each part of the question.